Capoeira is an Afro-Brazilian martial art that started in Brazil, created by the African slaves that were brought to Brazil during colonial times. Uh, it incorporates movements like acrobatic movements, circular kicks, takedowns, and sweeps. Capoeira to me is my life. It's what I do for work and what I love to do. So I got into Capoeira because uh, I was tired of swimming. I was looking for something new to do. Um, and when I started it, it was so much fun, challenging, and I loved every aspect of it, from language to music to the acrobatics and uh, physical dialogue. So Capoeira names work basically uh, when a new student comes in and decides they want to join. Uh, you kind of find a characteristic that they have and you give them a nickname, something that reminds you of them. So my Capoeira name is Kuruja and I think my teacher gave it to me because I had these glasses that were like round and big. And I said, you know what, we're just going to name you Owl. So she named me Owl. There's no capoeira without the music. It's what dictates the type of game that's being played. It's what gives um, the capoeirista their energy to play, and it's like the soul of capoeira. The instruments that are being played are the binimbao, which are the bow instrument, uh, the atabaki, which is the drum, and the panderos, which are the tambourines. Sometimes you'll see an agogo as well, which is like the cowbells. Um, and a heckle heckle, which is the one they. I don't know how you say that in English. <laughs> Every capoeirista knows the rhythms and how to play the games accordingly to the rhythms. So, generally, capoeira songs, sometimes they're talking about history, sometimes they're talking about something, a play on the ha in the harder. Like someone almost got kicked, so I sang a song towards them, or someone almost fell or got taken down, you sing a song about that sometimes. Sometimes you talk about like the energy, or what they call ashe in the harda. Sometimes they talk about historical figures, just different. Things. No, I think the music and the energy carries them through the tiredness because we can go through an hour of class and then do, I'll say, okay, it's all the time, and you just give that energy, and everyone is rocking and rolling, ready to go. Like that music is really powerful. What I've seen so far, training for so long, Capoeira is freedom. Um, going back from when the slaves had used capoeira as a way of resistance and freedom, to win your freedom. And I think in these times, it's a way to express yourself. It's a way to, um, for me, create freedom in my life because it's like, when I'm so passionate about it, I become free. So it's really, to me, the purpose too of capoeira is to spread love in this, this, uh, this day and age. Like I've seen capoeira, being played between two groups of people that maybe never got along. Um, and they just understand this dialogue and because they have this common passion towards it, towards it, it's, you know, emits love and happiness and joy. So to me, I think the purpose in Capoeira in this day and age is really love and freedom.